So, you want to work in IT, huh? Run, run away, as fast as you can. I'm just kidding. If you're someone like me that grew up in front of a computer and has always loved to tinker and solve problems, then most likely a career in IT is a great idea for you. There are a multitude of different paths, different flavors, but in this video I want to talk about some of the main entry-level jobs that you might look for when you're first getting started. I also want to talk about some of the tips and things that I've learned over the course of my career and how to hone your skills and take things to the next level. Let's get started. So when we talk about entry level, bottom of the totem pole jobs, there are really three main ones that come to mind for me. Help desk technician, tech support and consultant, and then a junior system or network administrator. So these are all kind of generalized positions and whether you're out of just out of high school, trade school or college, with the right amount of preparation, I feel like you can land one of these jobs. So first up, help desk technician. So this you might be working for a school or a small or a larger business. And for me, I, my first job in high school was actually at a local commercial and savings bank, and I worked in the IT department. It was kind of a hybrid role of help desk and a little bit of helping with project management. We would set up kind of training computers. Um, we would help a little bit with networking, basically like plugging in like switches, plugging in ethernet cables in the, in the different switch rooms and, um, and some document control and that kind of thing. And then in college at my alma mater, I worked at the help desk where I would help with students and faculty machines, we would image machines. And that was like a true help desk experience because we used a ticketing system and we had different shifts. So next is IT support and consultant. And this might be for a small to medium sized business or it could be managed services. And I worked for an MSP, a managed services provider. And this is where we would assist multiple clients throughout the day to help troubleshoot and to help run their networks. And now this may be a higher level position. It really kind of depends on the company, depends on how big they are, how, how many openings they have. So next is junior system or network administrator. And this is one where I think that you might need to have some prior experience. Maybe it's just a little bit of help desk knowledge, or it could be something on your own where it's a certificate program or just hobby work, things you work on in your spare time, different projects that you could show as experience. So here are some tips that I've developed to kind of set your mind right and to help you through those tough days on the job. So first off, patience is a virtue. I always kind of like to pretend that every customer is my grandma. And that's not to, to detract from their ability or their character or anything like that, but it's really to keep myself in check, to, to make sure I'm being patient and generally nice. I think that that's really important. If you set the tone of, I'm too busy to deal with your silly little problem, then it's just not a good look and it's really not gonna make them feel very good about themselves. If it's easier and faster to just solve the problem right away, take control, then do that. But then afterwards, try to walk them through the why behind the solution. This might even prevent them from contacting you. They'll, they'll learn and then they won't have to contact you in the future if similar issues come up. So next, the IT golden rule. Have you tried turning it off and then back on again? A coworker of mine once said, there's always something that needs rebooted in IT and our job is to figure out what that thing is. I feel like cliches are a cliche for a reason. It's because they tend, they tend to continue, they tend to keep happening. And whether it's the service, it's the program, it's the computer itself, it never hurts to just do a reboot. Next, hone your Google Foo. It's not about how much that you know, it's how, how efficient you are at being able to look for potential solutions to problems. There's a huge tech community out there, tons of online resources, sites like Spiceworks, Reddit forums, and even vendor specific forums. So like Microsoft, Google, Dell, among many others. So if you have a specific issue, you can search it on those vendors and most likely somebody else has had a similar or the same issue. Next, test everything. Even things that you think are stupid or just aren't gonna work, it's always good to come at a problem from multiple angles and computers are a complex thing. There can always be multiple answers to the issue that you're having. And finally, take a step back. If all else fails and you have no idea what's going on, let your customer or your client know, but don't just say, I can't fix it, I don't know, I quit. Instead say something like, let me do some more research, let me get back to you. Often we problem solvers get very stuck in one way of thinking. I know that I've caught myself in this cycle in the past where I just wanna focus on something until it's fixed, focus on a computer until it's fixed. 
but a lot of times this can lead to narrow-minded thinking and potentially lead you down the wrong path. So it's always good to just take a step back, reevaluate, and then move forward. Extra bonus tips. Microsoft Outlook sucks. Copiers also suck. They're a necessary evil, but I don't think that there's a single person in IT that truly enjoys troubleshooting copiers or Microsoft Outlook. And if you find yourself in a situation where you have to, just take a deep breath, fo focus on your inner zen, and, and do the best you can, really. <laughs> now you're 100% certified, grade A, ass-kicking IT professional. What's next? How do you level up your skills? For this, I think the best place to start is right where you are. Look at some of the higher level projects that you gravitate towards in your company. Reach out to your upper teams, your network admins, your system admins, your data analysts, programmers, and ask how you can help, how you can get involved. What are some of the things that you'd be able to take off their plate while simultaneously kind of learning new skills and getting paid to do it? Outside of that, look for certifications, look for resources where you can learn on your own. See if maybe your employer is willing to foot the bill for different certification programs. If so, great. If not, do it anyway. This is an investment in your career, in your learning, and it's definitely gonna be worth it. And the beautiful thing about the internet is just how much free content is out there these days. You can join an online community, you can start watching, well, videos like this. Thanks for watching, subscribe. No, but for real, I follow all kinds of different YouTube channels, online communities of people making awesome free tech content. I'll link some of my favorites down below. Whew, that was a lot. Are you excited? I'm excited for you. I hope that this video helps and I hope that you're able to crush your very first job in IT. Welcome to the club, it's all up from here. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. It helps out the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, take care.